All right, just finished up our pre-trip. Just waiting for the clock to tick down a little bit. We're on uh, I-84, exit 211. We're at the Loves here, we stayed here last night. I-84 in Oregon. This made me think about the, uh, you ever played that, that old game, the Oregon Trail? You know, it's your covered wagon and your family and you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're going across the Oregon Trail. My, mine always freaking drowned in the water, you know, because <laughs> it'll tell you like, like, oh, this is how much everything weighs. And this is how deep it is. And I'll be like, oh, we can make that. Kill my family all the time. Terrible dad. <laughs> Thank goodness it was a game. But uh, we're going to be riding through the Oregon Trail today. We got to make our delivery in uh, Salem. Salem, Oregon. It's like a little bit south, I guess, of uh, Portland. So I'm assuming that's probably the only thing that's going to really slow us down a little bit. Besides, like, you know, mountain driving and everything. But we got about uh, 380 till we get there to our delivery so we got plenty of time to get there we don't have to be there till 2 30 it's uh oh gosh i don't even know what time it is just a little bit after six but once we get farther into oregon we're then we're going to be on pacific time so we're going to gain an extra hour so so that'll be good um we're about to take off i made sure i i got my rock well i got my i got my Serena's rock. Well, I got my uh, daughter's postcard, and uh, I'm still looking for the magnet. So we'll be on the lookout. The only good thing about the magnet, you can get those in any states if you can find them. So we're gonna be looking. But uh, for right now, let's get this show started. Let's get on down the road. Back on 84. We're gonna go, since it'll be a little bit tight, trying to make this right hand turn. Yeah, forget it. We're gonna have to loop around. Goodness, she was there. Oh, crazy sun. I wish I'd have got diesel here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Three, 373. I got, I filled up my tanks yesterday. We were still in uh, in Idaho. I think I paid like three, 364 or something like that. It's like, good gracious. You know, you're getting close to California. Fuel price is going up. Come on, buddy. He must not be in no hurry to start his day. That's a nice Pete right there. Stop here and 
Hopefully everybody will figure out what's going on. All right, all right. Like this guy's like walking next to the truck. This guy's creeping. He's going up there getting fuel. See our England's coming in here. Small little loves.
guys, we we survived the Oregon Trail. We uh, got delivered, no problem. They had no empties. And I had to uh, had to go search for an empty. It was only like about three miles down the road. I was hoping to be done done early today, but they end up throwing me another trip, so. And I was hoping it was like pickup for tomorrow, but not so much. Pick up today, because they're closed tomorrow. And uh, this one's actually going over to uh, uh, somewhere in Colorado. But uh, we're actually here at the place right now, getting loaded. They uh, doing some kind of construction of their parking lot and stuff. So it made it a little bit interesting trying to get in here and turned around and backed up and you know tried to stay out of their way. They try to stay out of my, you know my way. So the only good thing is uh, they said that we can uh, we can stay here overnight. So that'd be cool. Cause that wasn't really up for coming over here. It's like right into uh, right when you get into Washington, Washington State. Vancouver but we had to go through Portland and that was a joke if you ain't never drove through Portland it's uh, Friday 5 o'clock it was it was almost Atlanta borderline man it was you know <laughs> the last like 15 miles it took about It took about an hour, you know. I show pulled up in the parking lot with 48 minutes on my clock, and there is nothing really around here. So, but he was cool. He said that when you leave out, just back straight up, you know, just make sure there's because they have trucks that come in and out all night. He said just make sure there's room for them to come in. But the only bad, the only bad thing is when you back up, you, you back right up to the rail yard. So. Oh man, so that's gonna be an interesting night. I mean, I get too much sleep tonight. But when you're that tired, you're gonna sleep. So we'll see what happens. And hopefully, they can get us loaded. Let's see what happens. You know, I only have let's see, I only have 48 minutes left. I'm already on my 14 hour. You know, my my four, that time is gonna be ticking down in about 15 minutes. So that means tomorrow. We only have about five hours of drive time for tomorrow. And uh, <laughs> I only had seven hours back on Sunday, so this weekend's going to be a pretty light weekend, so we'll see what happens. See what goes down. Right now, I'm tired, man. I wasn't expecting to do this, but hopefully we can get, get loaded and get out of here and relax for the night. Have an easy day on Saturday. But I appreciate you guys watching, and we're going to go and get out of here. Hopefully they'll be getting us loaded. They just gave us the red light. Hopefully they'll be bumping that trailer so we can finish this day, man. I'm tired. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you guys later.